Yesterday, VV Harris campaigned in Nevada and Arizona. Uh, in in Vegas, she had J Lo, and uh, that was an amazing event. She got pretty emotional. Check out her speech if you get a chance. Um, Walls was in Bucks County, Pennsylvania. He's going to be spending a lot of time in Pennsylvania, um, and he was in Erie as well. One one hidden kind of dark horse, I guess. Gwen Walls has been crushing it on the campaign trail. Uh, she had uh, four events yesterday. She was with Rep McBath um, and then the president of Planned Parenthood, Alexis McGill Johnson. Um, and she's just been crushing it. Bigger and bigger crowds for her, uh, as it should be. She's a, she's a rock star. Um, Laura Dern, Christy Turlington, uh, Susan Rice, who used to work for Obama for years, the former ambassador, Senator Mark Kelly and uh Gabby Giffords were on the road in, in Phoenix and across Arizona yesterday. Mark Cuban was in Georgia where they clipped one of his uh, video statements talking about, um, you know, I, I guess they tried to frame it in a certain way and that backfired on them as well. Cause all it did was spread his point. Um, and then I guess he, he did a town hall um, and it went over well. Gretchen Whitmer is just crossing Michigan all over the state. Um, in North Carolina, Jeff Duncan, remember that former lieutenant governor who's a Republican, held a press conference and an event with Olivia Troy, who's a former advisor to Trump, and former member of Congress, uh, Susan Molinari and Joe Walsh, all Republicans. They had events in Greensboro, Raleigh, and uh, Gastonia. North Carolina, and that was all for uh, events with Republicans. Um, in Pennsylvania, you know, they had a, a big event with the Congressional Hispanic Caucus chair and uh, Rosie Perez, who's Puerto Rican, um, was also, she's, she's involved with events today, I think. Um, but they're really slamming that home. Um, you know, they have a, a bunch of people that are doing a, press conferences and, and things like that about islands of garbage and the nonsense that they did there. Uh, Tammy Baldwin obviously has a tough race in Wisconsin. I think it's going to be turn out better. She's extremely popular there. Um, the other dudes trying to buy his way into office. And then today, which I'm sure y'all are more concerned about, um, Vice President Harris is going to Wisconsin uh, for a stop at a union hall in Janesville and a get out the vote a community event in Appleton, then heading to Milwaukee for a rally, which is going to be a bunch of different musicians. I, I guess one of the key moments will be when Cardi B speaks. Uh, so check out that. Governor Walls is doing events in Detroit, uh, Flint and Traverse City. It's hard to keep track of all these different cities and states uh, and across Commonwealth, especially. Doug Emhoff is in... Uh, Westchester, Pennsylvania. Gwen Walls is in Pennsylvania again today, crushing it, doing phone banking events, get out the vote events, and door knocking. And then also the surrogate game, which Trump doesn't have, by the way. He doesn't have door knockers, really. He's got a bunch of scandals going on with that. He doesn't really have a, a ground game at all. And his surrogate game, you know, we have Ruben Gallego in Phoenix. We got Warnock in Georgia. Um, we've got, uh, I think, Pastor Troy is doing an Atlanta vote with me event is what it's called. And then in Michigan, we've got, I mean, it's just a ton of people, a lot of Republicans. They're doing a, a Republicans for Harris event there in Nevada. Senator Jackie Rosen is going to be traveling there. Obviously um, she's really, really awesome. And then North Carolina, you have the uh, country's youngest, state chair, which is Anderson Clayton. Um, she is one of the hardest working people in politics that I've ever seen. Um, so watch out for her. And uh, they're doing more Republicans for Harris events there today as well. Uh, former Attorney General Eric Holders in Pennsylvania campaigning with Josh Shapiro, I think separately. Cory Booker is also there. And like I said before, uh, Rosie Perez is there and she's doing a press conference and get out the vote event. Um, she's Puerto Rican and, and she takes great offense to that garbage comment. Now, it, as I wrap up here, I just want to everybody keep in mind that Trump's had multiple chances to 
apologize or even disavow the garbage comment. And he has just downplayed it and said it wasn't a big deal. So he owns that. That's him. He owned that when he hired the guy in the first place. He knew who he was getting. Um, they loaded it up in the teleprompter. The campaign no know, knew what, what was going on. Um, and he, that's how he feels. Obviously, throwing the paper towels and everything he's done uh, or not done for them as well. It's been a horror story, um, everything he, he's done. He, he is one of the most racist and vile human beings that I've ever seen in my entire life. Um, he's worse than you could ever imagine. If you don't know much about him, um, there's there's name a crime. I can name something that he's been involved with in regards to that. Um, you know, and that's, that's, it's sad. Uh, it's sad that he's in this position to potentially win back the white house, but with us and everybody else, we're going to stay away from that. Um, I think also next week I need to confirm with Andrew Watkins. She's going to brief us, uh, live in regards to project 2025 and the warning, kind of like a last warning before the, probably the day before we vote, the final vote. Um, and then uh, obviously we'll be working with Demcast. So check out Demcast. They're awesome. They're like our online organizing partners. Uh, they have all the uh, memes and they'll have language, you know, so you can present your, your tweets or online posts. Um, and they have auto formatting for that. I've worked with Nick Knudsen since the beginning and even before that, and he is solid. He is to be trusted. He's one of the guys that I call on my birthday to say, I just had a beer and, you know, you're not here because you live across the country. And that's, so uh, anyways, uh, keep in mind, again, I want to remind you, we're talking about 7 million doors knocked. We're talking about thousands of staffers. We're talking about hundreds of offices throughout the seven swing states and, uh, these are people embedded in the communities doing the work every single day. Um, you know, this is not something that uh, the campaigns are not even to be compared. And Trump is relying on a PR game and whatever he's doing with Elon. I'm not sure exactly what they're still up to. Um, and his secret plan, <laughs> whatever that is with Johnson, who probably would be like, oh, I'm going to pull a Mike Pence on the last day. Um, oh, is Grant Stern in the house? Oh, well, hello, Grant Stern. Make sure you subscribe to Grant Stern, who is one of the people who taught me to speak into a microphone years ago. Uh, we're talking about like nine years ago or something like that. Anyways, um, so this weekend, you know, the, there's the events tomorrow, but then there's also going to be, you know, a lot going on, a lot of distractions. We stay focused on GOTV tomorrow, GOTV on Sunday, wrapping up. Uh, Monday with the final kind of push. And then Tuesday, we're going to be doing rapid response in regards to any kind of election protection across the country. And then uh, on Wednesday, we're going to be launching, um, you know, our new initiative, our, our coalition with a bunch of different partners. A lot of them are on Substack um, that are going to be on our advisory board. And we are going to be pushing back against any narrative. We assume that Trump will try and claim that uh, he won the election on election night, even if the votes aren't counted, um, we're going to have to push back against that narrative. We can't have headlines running around Trump claims victory or something like that. We cannot have a repeat of the big lie, no big lie, 2.0, nothing like that. And so we're going to be prevent preventing that from happening. We called it the press watchdog coalition. That name may change uh, depending on that. And, uh, yeah, so that's that's what we're going to be launching next week. So we're going to be pushing back immediately. Um, we won't let Trump lie and act like he won the election on election night because it's not going to happen. That's not going to happen for him. Um, if you like our work, please become a paid subscriber. I have to say that. Uh, you know, I have to make sure that I, I mention that uh, apparently. hate doing that, unlike self-promotion like that. Um, make sure to like and restack this when we post this as well. Uh, thanks so much for watching. I'm being pinged with some questions. So I'm going to respond to some questions real quick and then I'll cut this off. Uh, 
how is early vote looking? Uh, like I said earlier, uh, I think women are going to save this country. The gender gap is is enormous. Um, why is it Merrick doing more? I'm not going to comment on that. Um, I am, uh, you know, I, I I have my own. I can talk offline about my feelings about that. I think uh, Eileen, am I following PA ballot problems? Yes. Um, we are tracking those uh, at a constant. Um, in regards to LeBron James video, as a Clevelander, uh, fellow Clevelander, I, I love LeBron James. I think his video was fire. I shared it uh, yesterday, and uh, I thought that it was um, – it was really on point. Um, love you back, Joyce. Abby, you rock. Let me see. Alice, keep on working hard in Ohio. That is, uh, I think, Iowa, Ohio, and Missouri. Not sure where it'll float. Same thing with Florida. It's just, I, I think the numbers will surprise people no matter what. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's about it. Let me see. Amanda, I'm, I'm happy to provide a safe space. We are a no, um, we don't believe in trolls. And in our, our community, we we uh, pride ourselves in making sure that there are not trolls. We have a zero tolerance with any kind of harassment within. You're allowed to, you know, poke at Trump and everybody, but nobody on the actual page we're not we're not here to attack each other we have a lot of people who are really you know passionate but just not you know throwing barbs at each other uh also i saw that adam Parkmenko joined so make sure you check out his page um fun story he started the kremlin annex uh i went out there the first day that he started it and that was the protest i think it was the day of or the day after that we did treason summit when um when trump was meeting with putin uh did his little summit and uh i, I man i that must have lasted hundreds of days that was amazing protest he had uh like stars come out like rosie o'donnell and others would come out and speak outside of the white house peaceful protests constantly People who, uh, you know, held, I think there were treason sign holders. Uh, it was an amazing protest. Anyways, so anyways, uh, take care, y'all. Take care of yourself. Take breaks. But, you know, as uh, Coach Walls would say, we can sleep when we're dead. Um, so I'm going to be up working around the clock all weekend, and we'll be ready uh, for Tuesday night and Wednesday because that's when – Real work begins no matter what happens. I'm looking at a positive outcome here, but we're going to be ready to protect uh, us from another big lie, too. And we uh, we did it in 2020. We beat him when he was in charge of the U.S. government and he had all those friends. And now he's more isolated than ever. And he does not have control of the U.S. government. And he has a lot of enemies in these states, including Republicans. So don't forget that. All right. Uh, I will talk to you all soon, um, and we'll be posting all weekend and, and everything. Thank you for your support, and I'll, uh, I'll talk to you.